There's a big problem with uploading beats to YouTube. It's been around forever. And if you are one of those producers that uploads a lot of beats online, you probably have experienced this. I just experienced it. And it has to do with content ID claims. If I had a dollar for every time I got a claim against one of my own beats on my own channel by a TuneCore, a CD Baby, United Masters, you name it, well, I'd have a couple hundred extra dollars. It's frustrating to deal with. And if you're not able to join one of these larger networks or these content ID systems that can prevent this from happening, it might just feel like you are being taken advantage of. And granted, if someone is monetizing your content, content that you created, content that you own the copyrights to, they could be taking money out of your pocket. There are some solutions to it. I wanna talk about what I do, and I also wanna tell you how these copyright claims that I get all the time actually help me. So uh, subscribe because you know YouTube is really just, it's YouTube. I'm trying to get to 100K. I should have been at 100K. I'm not there yet. Appreciate you for watching, but take that extra step. Thank you. Here we go again. Another copyright claim against a beat that I created. Actually, this one, um, I believe, is a collab between me and So Special, but it doesn't matter. I got the claim against my own content. Why is this happening? Because of content ID. I don't see any solution in the foreseeable future to the problems presented by Content ID. What, what happens basically is someone licenses your beat, they upload it through a, a distributor like um, TuneCore, CD Baby, DistroKid. Granted, I believe by default the BeatStars contracts um, don't allow for this to happen, but people do it anyway, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cause a problem just because somebody is, is doing this. But when they upload the song that they created to my beat to any one of these distributors, the distributors end up claiming ownership of the song. So um, they end up on behalf of the rapper, singer, whoever uploaded the song, maybe label on behalf of them, they end up claiming 100% of the rights and um, royalties generated from that particular song, beat included. Now, obviously, if you license the beat, you didn't give up your copyrights to that beat. You shouldn't have. I certainly didn't. So therefore, this is a claim against something that I actually own. People ask me how to prevent this. I think there are ways. Um, I, know, I know some people have found ways to do this, some producers, um, and, and that's, as far as I know, they, they do that by signing up to some kind of content ID system themselves or some kind of YouTube network um, that preemptively makes claims on, on their beats and then doesn't allow others to monetize uh, those songs. Now, this is frustrating, yeah, but at the same time, this helps me in a lot of ways. Uh, it's a pain in the ass because I get a bunch of these every week, but... I do want to focus on what the positive part is because if you're not able to sign up with one of these content ID systems that allows you to automatically and preemptively claim your beat so that no one else can do so by mistake, then this, this is helpful. So this is what it looks like. It's not a copyright strike. It just means I can't make any money off of my own beat. Uh, I just file a dispute automatically and what I do is I've already copied and pasted an explanation or I've, I've copied it now I'm pasting it there it is that's what it said the claimant simply recorded vocals over my original instrumental uh, master recording slash composition me claiming rights to both copyrights I retain all rights to it the claimant does not please remove the claim check all this sign my name misspell my name then sign my name if you're not able to sign up for any one of these services that does this for you or that prevents this from happening i suggest just having some statement of proof of ownership on hand for when this does happen and it's a copy and paste thing it, it takes about a minute of your time frustrating as it may be it's not the end of the world but here's what's cool so it tells me exactly who is using my beat a lot of Producers wonder how to track use of their beats to see if maybe their beats are being um, sold as songs 
by people who haven't actually licensed them properly. Maybe they want to check in to see if the, the terms of the licenses are being adhered to. For example, if you have a, a limited license that only allows for 100,000 streams or, or whatever, 100,000 YouTube plays or something, and um, you want to check in to see if, if they're sticking to those terms, this is a great way to do it because it tells me the, the title of the song and the artist that use my beat and so what I'm gonna do is search for this because it's got to be on there there it is and if I hear the annoying YouTube tag or the beat stars tag that's that's in um, that would be in the beat if they just downloaded the free nonprofit version or they ripped it from my YouTube page without a license then I would contact this this artist and say all right you got to license this properly but it sounds like they actually did license this so shout out to them for doing that i appreciate it so special when i'm in deep space it feels like stuff matter of fact i'm gonna like this video appreciate people who do good business and now i'm gonna file my uh my dispute honestly i've not ever lost one of these i i think that you know wh whoever tune core uh, People like to companies like TuneCore, DistroKid, so forth, they, they know this is happening. They don't have a solution for it. They're also not going to fight you on this because they're aware of the situation. They're aware of how leasing works and they're aware that this kind of um, practice isn't really legal. And I know it, it's frustrating because if you as a producer don't file disputes and, and aren't on top of your business like this, then you can end up losing money and, and um, the recording artist that license your beats might unknowingly be taking money out of your pocket and I know way back this is in 2017 this has been happening for a long time BeatStars made a statement directed at these particular d online distributors about how they're claiming you know copyrights that that their clients don't have the rights to claim I assume that's why BeatStars started being more proactive about their um, agreements, but either way it's happening. It's unfortunate that it happens. I hope in the future that the, the content ID system ends up becoming a lot less convoluted and a lot fairer and easier to work with, especially with regard to licenses because and, and with royalty-free music with royalty free samples this this becomes a problem and it's a real headache for for content creators and musicians but the fact that i upload my beats to youtube and get copyright claims it means that i've caught a lot of people who are downloading my free nonprofit beats and distributing them for a profit and so then i i reach out to them and either they uh they apologize and license the beat or they remove it or rarely they'll just ignore me or refuse to uh, make the situation right and then that's when I uh, file a DMCA claim which is which is really easy to do but it takes time and, and you want to minimize those kinds of interactions you know the best case scenario is you create a relationship with an artist by talking to them directly and, and working the business out amicably without any kind of uh, negative interaction so I know this is something that a lot of producers are frustrated with my advice is to just consider this an occupational hazard and deal with these claims as they come. And if you can find a way, uh, you know, more permanent solution for yourself, by all means do that. If you found a more permanent solution, please share it in the comments. Much success to all of you. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Peace.